Guys, we are back at it for part two, and the weather is much better today. Now, <clears throat> on some other videos I watched, da 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 da, we could go ahead and take off the flywheel and the clutch and pull this whole engine block out. But since we're just replacing the pistons and rings, I'm going to try to do it without taking it all out. So the challenging thing is the opening to get to the wrist pin is on the other side of this chainsaw on the piston. It is right there, that little groove there. So you're gonna have to take you some needle nose or something and pry right in, right into there and pull that wrist pin out. I mean the wrist pin clip out to get the wrist pin out. And uh, so I'm gonna do that. I've got me a little hook. I'm gonna try to do all that. But I'm gonna have to do it off camera. And if you want, you can put you a, some towels or something on here. But this is basically, this is a small pan, so you can blow out anything that falls in there pretty easy. So let me get this off and we'll be back. Hey guys, so uh, I was able to get this wrist pin out real tiny. Wrist pin clip, excuse me. And uh, I took, a, on this other side, I just took me a little tap, a punch I got here, and uh, just started going around the edge really easy, banging that wrist pin out. Sort of like this. It's, uh, you can take your socket, if you got one, that'll fit, but basically just, I don't know if you can see. So we've got that. See the wrist pin coming out and get you some needle nose. You got to be able to. Well, it ain't wanting to come on out the rest of the way. Give it a little bit more persuasion. This is probably the toughest part of this whole job is taking this out and putting the new piston on with the wrist pin. Wrist pin clips, I mean. There it goes. We just shot it across the yard. All right. But yeah, so getting these clips back in with a new piston on there is gonna be the probably the roughest thing. There's your piston off. Should have a needle bearing in here. It's not in bad shape, but we got a new one in the kit. Now there's one thing in the, about the uh, wrist pin clips that come in here, they've got the center piece in, inside it. So, for instance, when we get ready to put it back on, uh, there is a little, I don't know if you can see that. There is a little middle piece right there that you can hold it to get it in there. So, all right. So now we're gonna put the uh, rings on the new piston. And get started on putting a new wrist pin in and the needle bearing. So uh, give me a minute. Uh, I'm going to get some oil because we're going to grease this up or oil this up, put the new rings on, and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys. So you can get any kind of oil. You can just use your two-cycle uh, engine gas oil mix if you want to. But put something on here and... Uh, yeah. You know, I use this. I, I carry me a little oil in my little container there. Somebody gave me that, so I've been using it. I kind of like it. Anyway, just roll that oil around. Now these rings, they're the same rings, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. But it does matter, and you can't see, but there's a there's a bevel on these. Anyway, you want the bevel going up. So the angle going down. So you want to put it on like this because there's little uh, stoppers or pins or nipples or whatever you want to call them in these grooves here that this is going to align to when you put it on. 
So, you know, you just want to work these around gently, start in the top ring, top groove, and go around, get it on there. There's your top one, and just move that on down to the second level. Same way you put it on the first one, pull it down, and then just walk it around. On these little ones like this, they can be kind of, you know, pain in the butt sometimes, but anyway, so. Let's get this on here. Well, I say, walk it around, Bob. What I said. <laughs> there we go. All right, so, and then you'll just spin this around till you find the groove or the little marker and it's right there right there so when this squeezes together it can't go anywhere same thing on the top one make sure you find your bevel which way it's pointing and it's like that so that goes up get that on there all right walk it around to where it goes right there all right now my hands are a little dirty so I'm gonna clean this up once again this piston and we're gonna get uh, the needle bearing you want to do the same thing to your need needle bearing grease put some oil on it slide it back in here uh, but first we want to put a wrist pin and I'm going to show you a wrist pin clip and you want to go ahead and put this one on this back side where there's no, if you notice, there's no uh, gap right here. But on this front side, there's that little groove so you can get in, get in and get, get one out. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in the back side before we slide our wrist pin in. And uh, I just take me a piece of needle nose. I just start it with my fingers. A lot of times I can get them with my fingers. It's a, uh, it's a lot harder. But anyway, it's easier with the middle piece in there. I know y'all can't see this good. Anyway, I'm gonna get that on there, and I'll be right I'm back. Struggling with this thing, I finally got the one side in, the wrist pin clip in. Once you get it in, you know, you, you're going to have to look around and make sure that it's uh, seated in there well. Uh, good thing about the one with the middle clamp is you can take your needle nose and spin it and make sure that it's in there good. Tug on it. If you have to, get your magnifying glass out. And look in there and make sure it's seated good. All right. Then the next thing to do is get your new wrist pin. Open it up. Whoops. New needle bearing. Now, if the old needle bearing is not bad, you might want to use it instead of this aftermarket needle bearing. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to use what came with it. Pull that up a little bit. All right. And then, remember, the arrow is going toward the exhaust side. So, that would be arrow that way all right so you want to put your needle bearing back in here slide your piston back over and slide your wrist pin in now you shouldn't have any trouble getting this in there Seems like 
I am having a little difficulty lining it up. There we go. All right. So that's all the way in. You're going to have to push it. Make sure you got it seated good. And then the challenge is going to be getting this other little wrist pin right in there. So this is going to require a few cuss words, maybe whatever, and uh, I'll get back to you when I get it done. Guys, so I'm the messiest guy at doing this ever, but I got me some of the right stuff here. It's made by Permatex. It's some good stuff. Squeeze me a little bit out. Just gonna take my finger. This stuff dries pretty quick too, so. I mean, you can use it immediately if you have to. But, you know, just get you some, a little dab will do you. Go all the way around real good. Now, I'm not much for neatness on this. Some people just put just the correct amount and nothing squeezes out. It looks all pretty and everything. I like pretty work, but I like work that works too. So, you know, if it gets a little sloppy, you just want to make sure that none of it falls back inside the cylinder here and especially doesn't clog, clog up this uh, pulse, pulse hole right there because that's what sucks the gas, helps suck the gas into the intake. Get you a good good amount, not good amount, but you know, make sure it's covered really well. Now some people go ahead and put some around in here where those seals go. Uh, you can if you want. Doesn't really matter. You might as well for good insurance. Really, the rubber on the on the actual seal itself should uh, shouldn't have to have any. Now factory uh, steel uses Durco. I've used uh, Permatex Copper Bond before. It works, you know, the exhaust manifold stuff. This uh, this is the Permatex Right stuff, uh, one minute bond gasket maker. Uh, it's rated for this. So, okay, once you got all that on there, remember to put this back on the right way. If you wanna line her up. Now, there's not really a trick to this. Just make sure you got your rings lined up. This is a tapered uh, tapered intake or a tapered cylinder. So it ought to just slide over pretty easy. Uh, if you had one of those two fancy ring tools, you could use it here. But just... Uh, This case is blocking me a little bit. It's like cock blocking me a little bit. But there we go. You may have to turn the turn it just a little bit to get it seat on down. Okay, boom. And you'll know it when it hits. Once it gets on there, just go ahead and push down on it. I like to go ahead and flip it over now and. Get these suckers started, and I don't torque it all the way down right away, uh, but I do tighten it up snug. Go ahead and let that Permatex bind up good. The trick here is getting this all lined back up. It should be pretty much in line. And, uh, Again, your T27. Now, so start off hand tightening these because uh, you don't want to cross thread them. Yeah. 
yapıyor musun abi? Yeah, I know this is boring, but anyway, it's part of it. So we got it all tightened up. Snug. And now, well, we'll let it sit for A few minutes, and I'll come back and put a final torque on them. I'm not going to get a torque wrench out of them. But, yeah, so that's a nice seal. And uh, we'll be able to spin the... Uh, everything should go smooth. You want to look at it from this side. go ahead and I didn't lube that up when I put it on because I knew it was going to be easy but I go ahead and put me a little shot of oil right there now and uh, go ahead and coat that piston all right I'll be back when we get ready to put the rest when of it on. when you're putting this back on you want to make sure when you're sliding well you don't have to I mean you can still move this plastic cover around but you've got to get these wires these two kill wires or ground wires for the coil they go in that little groove right there and then your spark plug wire so you see how that how they come up through there so that's how that goes All right. So we're gonna put the uh, some of the covers back on now, and uh, it's just a reverse process of what we showed you yesterday. So uh, I might pop in and show you some steps along the way. Uh, so we've got the handle back on. All the screws are back in. All that's left is to put the carburetor, the muffler, and that's about it. So, like I said, everything's just reverse of what we did yesterday. So, uh, we'll get the rest of the way back together and see what happens. Got a little tinkering with the carburetor, and uh, I guess it was just way out of adjustment. I don't know. But, uh, things are running now. I ain't got the chain on it yet, but we're going to put the chain on it and see how it goes. So let's see. Get back to you when I got it all back together. 